Good morning everyone, this is Rick. We're going to try to clean and press a X-Men number 80 today. This one, which is I believe a reprint of X-Men 32. So this is dark times for X-Men books before they were uncanny and just normal. But this is probably a VG, maybe VG plus. And we're gonna try to boost this up to a, probably a fine minus or fine if we can. So uh, I think we can do it. It's This is a pretty good candidate for improvement. So. We'll see how we do. Wish me luck. Take care. Bye-bye. So here's our book. These are our main concerns in this book, things that we can get rid of. So there's soil, soil, soil. Obviously, it's a really bad wrap. It's not even, but there's dirt down here. There's a color-breaking crease that we're never going to get rid of. That's going to lock us pretty firmly into the fine category, especially with this color here. The um, The pages are a little darker than I'd like, so this book's yeah, it's definitely locked into the best we can ever do is a fine. So, and let's take a look at the back here. Back is, uh, wow, this is super dirty. This has been laid down in some coffee or something. So I'm not sure we're going to have a whole lot of luck with this one on the back, but the front will come clean. It might be at least a presentable copy, even if it doesn't get formally graded. I can see now that I'm looking some coffee here. We'll, we will do our best. Oh yeah, it's definitely been something got spilled on this one. But we'll do our best. We'll clean it up. And, all right, let's see how we do. We'll take our surfactants. And I'm going to start by dabbing without wiping. I've steamed the book already, by the way. So this book has been steamed and paper's hot. And that helps a little bit. So. I am just trying to see if I can get this material off this page. And it does not appear to be coming out. Oh, well, actually there's quite a bit coming out. It just doesn't look like it from the book side, but there's quite a bit coming out of the past page. It's getting super soaking wet. I'm gonna to have to come back to this. So usually at this point, I like to try to pick this book up by putting a cord underneath it like this. It helps to keep from hurting it. The back is pretty gross, so we're gonna. I'm not sure we're gonna get that out of there in one cleaning. It may take. It may take a few times of doing this to get this to look better. In my experience, these coffee stains don't come out all at once. I think sometimes you have to soak them. So now I've spent probably around 15 maybe 17 minutes Look on the just on the cover of this book. This is how much material I pulled out of the cover of the book. I'm gonna go over the back here a little bit, but it's pretty. it was pretty dirty, so you can see how much I took out. Um, I'm gonna let this dry before I flip it over because I don't want that side to be down. I'll go for the back and then I'll press it out. I'll have to let it dry, air dry, before I press it because you can't put it in there this damp or it will destroy the book in the heat. So here's what our book looks like now. I'm gonna say it looks better. Yeah, it does actually. It looks, it looks a little bit glossier. I like it. It's good. And this is how much dirt we pulled from the cover. We'll have to do the back soon. It needs a cold press. It had a hot press, but the pages are still a little wavy as you see. So I will do a cold press and then I'll clean the back. I won't show you that because it's not instructive in any way or informative but what I do to the back I just put a you know I'll put a thick a very thick board on here I have these thicker like 56 point boards here this is a very thick board I put that on top of that and then it will get a nice heavy weight on top of it I'll put a 10 pounder on it like that and that's it. that's how it will sit for a day and it will look great and we'll be done. It's a, it's, it just saves me a little time on making press if I just leave it like this overnight.